late welcome back ladies and gents it's been a long time since we've been out here uh, and try to pull out a video today we came with the intention of hooking on some black drum we are kind of close to the end of the dike uh, we got some blue crab <clears throat> we're gonna be chunking some half crabs out there and maybe hooking up into a drum I've came probably two other times and didn't hook into any so it's been a struggle um, but anyways not being active on YouTube but we're back on it we're trying to get these fish into at the end of our line and see if we can hook up guys y'all stay tuned and hopefully we hook up so, look them boys wanna see uh huh you get a second? Hook the boys. In the high one? I saw Chiquita the more. First one on the side. Uh huh. Can the cerquitas go? No, sé. No, por abajo de esta. Si va a ser tambor, si no se atreve con esto, no creo que no. Sí, lo traigo para acá. A ver. No te van, no te Quiero. We're going to see what it is right now. Tambor. Vamos a ver si we can get it. Es rojo, ¿verdad? No, es tambor, yo creo. Es como un tambor. Tambor, ¿verdad? A ver si lo traigo. Por... Espérate, déjame, déjame le voltear la cabeza. Es grande. Ten cuidado. Lo traigo para acá. Pigo, vale. Está ganando. First one on cream. Whoop, oh, folks. Got the camera kind of slobber. Just see if we can release. The hair is perfect. Hopefully, he swims off. Let's see. Guys, thankfully, he did swim off need a venting tool to get the air out of the bladder as you guys can see it's nowhere to be seen give you a quick update guys haven't had any luck I'm gonna retie this leader due to a tangled up with the guy next to me so this is what we're using right here we're gonna use this start from scratch start from the beginning we have this piece right here it comes with this little yellow tab 
me look up the package. That's it right there. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use a swivel. Those two little items. We're gonna get the leader. From right here. We're gonna put in the swivel first. This sort of a what it's a swivel and then we're gonna put in this yellow tab. It's like a bead. The worst that won't kink your your knot from your braid. Right there. Then we get a little a decent sized swivel, not too small, not too large. Do your knot of choice. A very simple knot. Put it in through the loop. Overhand knot. And we just feed it in through the pull pull tags. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab the scissors, cut that tag off. A lot of people use fluorocarbon. I tip tick for this type of stuff I use mono. 150 yards, 50 pound. I mean this spool of 150 yards will cost you two bucks at a, at your local super center Walmart. I'm gonna grab about say about a little bit over a foot. And we're gonna tie to the swivel that we had just tied it on. The other side of the swivel we're gonna tie your mono. One, two, three. Put it in through there, cinch that down. Just like so. And we're gonna cut this tag. You never want to cut your tags too too short. That's about right. Just in case the the leader tends to um sometimes it tends to with the weight of the fish and when you're finding it, it tends to move a little bit and you lose. I'm using size eight eagle claw circle hooks. Just like so. Put it in through here. Same knot. One, two, three. Cinch that down. There you go. Alrighty. Now we're gonna put a three ounce weight. I am using a three ounce. Um, my rod is rated for up to I believe five ounces. Let's check it out right now. We'll show you guys the setup. So that's it right there. And we have it paired up with a a power stick. It's a one to five ounces so you guys can see picked it up off Bass Pro Shop it is about it's not it's a nine footer with a five thousand size Shimano Stratic 30 pound braid so now we're gonna rig up the crab we're gonna cut this one in half just like so once we cut it in half get the half pull the swimmer off come right over here all that stuff we're gonna grab our circle hook we're gonna put it in through that swimmer hole and outside the bottom make sure you don't crack the shell it's perfect right there so now a lot of people tend to do is hook it into their weight just like so so you can get a better launch and once you throw it out there it comes out of the weight just go out there and launch it just like so these spider weights I'm gonna get up here and pull your rod tip down. Just start sliding it till you till you feel the dead weight. It's getting 
Once you feel that weight, your rod is kind of tight. It's because your weight is doing its job. Now we're gonna set the drag. Should be perfect. And I got two exact same setups out here. One right there, one over there. Yep, guys, that's gonna be it. Got another one, boy. Got another one, boys. ¿Por qué lo podemos sacar? Papá, ya. Sácalo. A ver, estoy por arriba, yo creo, ¿no? Estoy por a... arriba o abajo. Bájalo para abajo, ¿Tu caña? Oh. Sí, exacto. Me lo tiro, pa. Oh, damn, boy. Gotta put the brakes on this boy. We're gonna have to follow him. Sí, va para allá, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Sí, para abajo. Gracias. Aquí lo marcan. Está cerquita de aquí. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No me lo, lo junto. Ah, bueno, se lo aquí. Sí, 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 aquí. Thank you. <laughs> Number two. Yeah, it's a drum. A drum? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Can use the big Release him. He's he's too big. He full worms like that. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's a big fish. Yeah. Ahorita la traigo canasta. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Oh, I think oh, probably weighs max down. Oh. More 40 pounds. Oh. It's not 
Vamos a la mapa. Oh. Ahí hay un hilo. That was a big fella right there, probably my personal best. Easily maxed out the 30 pound boga. And pretty sure it was around 40 inches, 42. I have to remeasure it. I mean, weight wise was 42 pounds. But we're gonna measure it. I put a tag on the net to see. Once I get home, I'll do a measurement. Yeah, guys. It's been a slow morning. Those two black drums finally got able to hook up after two trips back to back getting skunk. You know, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll hook up another one.